Hello again, back with another beer from BC. Uh, today's beer is the Nut Brown Ale from How Sound Brewing Company. Uh, they're based out in Squamish, I believe. This is one massive bottle and I um, believe it's a litre, I think, somewhere thereabouts. So look here. Yep, one litre of liquid, so there's just under a couple of pints in there. Comes with a interesting capping design here. You've got uh, crown cork on the top, but it's resealable using this popper stopper cap, which the brewery um, claims was commonly used in Europe um, prior to the 1950s. Or so it says here on this bottle, anyway. And uh, that's about it. It's 5% um, alcohol. Um, yeah, I'm going to crack it open. I think the idea is that you can reseal it and have half one day and half another day. And also I think the idea is it's supposed to be a green bottle so people can, you know, reuse it for other purposes if they wish. Home brewing, I guess, they're pretty pretty useful for, for home brewing um, if you're doing that sort of thing. Um, so, the pour. Oh, it's a lovely brown reddish colour. It's a fairly nice head on that. Quite tightly packed, should last all the way down from the looks of it. It smells ever so nutty, quite chocolatey as well. Mm. Maybe a hint of caramel, that kind of thing. Licorice. Mm, definitely tastes um, chocolatey. Licorice. There's a couple that they use as descriptions on the bottle as well. Um, slightly lacking in uh, aftertaste, or there's no real lingering bitter aftertaste. It's not a very um, not a very hoppy beer at all, um, but yet somehow not quite as roasty. There's no roasty character uh, quite the same as there was in the the other nut brown ale that I reviewed. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but uh, a couple of months ago I reviewed uh, another one uh, based out of uh, Penticton or something like that and it had far more roasty character to it than this one does. Um, I've got this slightly too cold though for this kind of beer. Um, I normally want this a bit a bit, um, a bit, bit warmer, sort of cool but not cold. This is just, just a tad too cold, it's probably mitigating the um, taste a little bit. Quite a suitable beer for this time of year. Um, the weather's turning quite, um, quite autumnal now. And uh, this is exactly the sort of beer I like to drink this time, kind of time of year. Um, definitely, sort of starting to move away from the the hoppy, lighter summer beers now, and more into the malty, kind of rich um, um, autumnal and, and winter um, warmers. Mm. Fairly sweet. Um, definitely not uh, much business as I said, it says on here the IBU rating is 19, um, so I don't think that's particularly, that's not particularly high. Um, so there, you know, there are hops in here obviously, but uh, but not, uh, certainly not predominant, it's predominantly multi palate as most not browns or milds are. Um, and quite a few miles, I think, or not brown ales and stuff, um, whilst I've been here. A um, couple of other beers that I did try whilst I've been here um, that I haven't reviewed. Uh, Sergeant's IPA. I um, can't remember the name of the, the company that brews that now. I forget. But anyway, I just had Philips IP as well, as well, Philips Double IPA, and that was rather nice as well. And uh, whilst I've been here in um, 
the BC or uh, sort of Vancouver area. I did find a couple of pubs downtown in Vancouver that are uh, serving car scales out of hand, hand pumps. It's very unusual um, for North America. Uh, quite a lot more normal, obviously, in Britain. It's kind of our, our thing. Um, but it was quite refreshing to see a couple of places doing uh, real, real beers, uh, real ales down there. Um, managed to try one by R&B Brewing, uh, which I think was Devil's Red Ale or something like that. Uh, very, very nice. And um, tried another porter at another place. Uh, the, the names of the places are the Irish Heather, does proper pints down there. Um, and the Alibi Room further down the road, um, which does serve real ales but not full Imperial pint sized glasses, which is a shame. Kind of lets down the image a little bit, but still, it was good beer anyway. Um, but if you get a chance, if you're in the area, the Irish Heather in Gastown, um, you can get real ales down there now. Um, but anyway, yeah, uh, slightly disappointed with the sort of lingering aftertaste of this. Rather nice sweet taste to begin with. Hints of chocolate, licorice, um, caramel, that kind of thing. All the sort of multi characters that you'd expect from this kind of ale. Um, but definitely the lingering bitterness not quite there. That might materialise as the beer starts to warm as I get further down the glass, uh, but we'll see. Uh, my general rating for this would probably be somewhere around about six, uh, no, more like seven to seven point five out of ten. Still a nice beer. Um, just do with a little bit more lingering um, character for my for my money anyway. Um, I have tried, whilst I'm at it, I have tried their um, their IPA, uh, same brewery, comes in the same kind of bottle, and that was a textbook example of a North American modern IPA, and that was much, much for my money, much more impressive than, than this beer. But still, anyway, I have enjoyed the beer, anyway, and we'll, uh, I'll see how it goes as I get further down, I guess. Uh, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye now.